What's the play for today? Well, today it's inspired by Harrison Ford and Sean Connery from one of my favorite movies of all time, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Now, you might wonder, what does that have to do with using a gel press plate? Well, every time I see this fun plate that's a part of the Faith Impression set, all I can think of is that movie. I love this sort of medieval, sort of Knights Templar kind of cross vibe that it has. So I'm going to use that to play around in my art journal because these small plates are a great way to just explore pattern as you're creating a layer in your art journal. So take a background that you've got. Any background at all that you've got will work for this and then grab a little gel press plate. Now this one is from the Faith Impression set and they also have a whole bunch of petite sets. So if you're not familiar with all the different shapes on the little ones, I really encourage you to check them all out at gelpress.com. So once you've got some paint on it, then you get to start placing it around in your background. You can start anywhere on the page that you want. I'm feeling the middle right now, so that's where I'm going to start. Now I've got one impression on there, but there's still plenty of paint on that plate. You can see it on there. So I'm immediately going to take it in to get another impression right away. Now as I look at the plate, it doesn't have much paint on it, so I'm just going to use the stuff that's on the brayer. Yeah, I don't have to get more paint out. It's just that. Roll it on there and then put another one onto the page. Naturally, if you just want to put one on a page, you can absolutely do that. I'm feeling like getting a whole bunch of them on here, so I'm going to keep adding more of these. And I'm starting out here with a very symmetrical type of pattern, but mm, that's not really calling to me at the moment, so I'm going to add some more on here. One of the things I frequently get asked about gel printing is what kind of paint I think is the best for doing it. And for that, there is no right answer because it's very, very personal. Some people love using craft paints. Some people love using a fluid paint. Some people love using a thicker paint. And so it's not about the paint to use. It's more about which one you're comfortable using. And frankly, sometimes it just comes down to whichever one you have on hand and that you can grab and use. Any acrylic paint that you have is safe to use on a gel press plate. Now, I tend to like using a thicker paint, so that's why what I'm using here is Liquitex Heavy Body Paint. But again, it's not the only paint, it's just the one that I enjoy using. Now, notice how I was auditioning it there, and I noticed that there was a little part that didn't have paint on it. That's one of the cool things of what you can do with these petite gel press plates, is you can see where they're going to go, what it's going to look like, before you actually make that very big commitment to put that paint on the paper because some days it really does feel like it's a life or death decision about where you're gonna put that paint on there. So I'm gonna add another layer of pattern on this. Using the same gel press plate here, I'm gonna put a different color on it and I'm gonna put it down in a slightly different place and I'm gonna build up more layers to this pattern. I'm basically exploring how these things will look. The pressure's completely off. This is an art journal page and all I'm building here are some layers. And having something that you can see through completely, like a gel press plate, is really handy when you're kind of curious how it's gonna look there. It's really helpful for me for positioning this layer because I can see how much of the layer before it it's gonna cover up. Now you might have noticed, I'm not cleaning the brayer off here as I'm working in one color. The whole time that I'm using this bright blue color, I'm not cleaning off that brayer at all because I'm just going to keep using the paint that's on there. When I get to the end of that color, when I'm done using it, then I'll clean that brayer off. But that way I get to use every drop of paint. And to clean off the plate, I'm just going to take a print right there on that cleanup paper. And I'll keep cleaning my brayer off on there over and over again as I'm printing until that page becomes something that I love. And then I've got a fun paper that I can print on top of, that I can use in a collage, in my art journal, whatever it is that I want to do with it. But bottom line is all of that paint gets used and incorporated into the play. Now keep in mind that I said this because I'm going to do something in a moment that you might wonder why. Now earlier I mentioned that gel press has a lot of these petite shapes. And I definitely could have mixed and matched and put a variety of different ones on here. Today, I was feeling like just playing with this one, the full Indiana Jones feeling going on. So that's why 
I'm just adding this pattern onto my art journal page. But definitely, if you've got one of the petite sets or if you've got faith impressions, you absolutely can mix and match the shapes. So in a moment, you're gonna see me clean off the brayer here on that cleanup paper, except I'm still using yellow. So why did I clean that off? It was just habit. When I'm working with an eight by 10 plate, I tend to clean my brayer off more frequently than when I'm working with one of the petites. And then I started looking at the brayer paper and that blue was just calling for some yellow. So how could I resist that? So that's why all of a sudden I started putting that shape over there on my cleanup page. And I really like how they look just three in a row there. I really, really, that's calling to me. So I have a feeling that's gonna show up again in my play one of these days. But for now, I'm gonna go back to the art journal page, put a last couple little touches of yellow on here, and I'm gonna wrap up my pattern exploration here happening on this page. Next time that you've got one of these fun gel press shapes in your hand, I encourage you to just experiment, play around with the pattern, and see where it takes you. Well, thanks so much for joining me for today's play. If you've been enjoying this video, I'd so appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more gel press videos, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. That way you'll know as soon as there's a new video out. And of course, you can find all the shapes of gel press plates over at gelpress.com. Thanks so much for letting me be a part of your colorful journey.